<laughs> she is Dr. Stacy Lee, and she traveled all the way from Montana. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. It's so nice to How are you feeling? Right. I feel great. How do you yeah. feel? I feel really good. And that donor with a message. You realize that there are good things, too. And I really wanted to be a part of something so beautiful and so good. And tonight, that drama teacher, grateful. So you gave me a good one. <laughs> We're grateful, too. Great to see Mr. Hall back at school and that doctor, that donor who traveled all the way from Montana. I'm David Muir. Good night. Thank you for making World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. Catch Island Sports with Cody Cruff. Weekends on KITV4. On KITV4, Island News Tonight, in court, on the stand, in his own defense today. The case is now in the hands of the jury. We're tracking a huge south swell. High surf advisories are in effect. Coming up, we'll take you to the south shore, let you know how long these waves will stick around. Scuba divers looking for a Mercedes underwater in Hawaii Kai today. We're really not sure if it could be a medical condition or, you know, there are lots of variables. A house fire in Kailua this morning. The fire just got so big. To celebrate its 175th anniversary, Oahu Cemetery is planning walking tours with music honoring some notable composers buried there. And could upping your emoji game be the secret to a better dating life? Now, from Honolulu, for all of Hawaii, this is KITV4 Island News. We begin with breaking news tonight. A Maui police officer is accused of misconduct. Good evening, I'm Mika Miyashima. And I'm Tom Georgian for Brenton Awa tonight. Maui police say text messages and voice recordings support allegations made against an officer that's been with the force for four years. Now, the department did not release the name of that officer or any details on what happened, but they do say it included an abuse of authority. That officer now being investigated for attempted perjury, hindering prosecution, and tampering with a witness. Police Chief Tivoli Fa'amu released a statement today saying, quote, we want to ensure everyone in our community that we have your safety in mind. If you have a complaint against an officer, we encourage you to contact that officer's supervisor, or you can also contact our internal affairs division. If you're uncomfortable with speaking to us, you can also file a complaint with the Maui Police Commission. A high surf advisory in effect across the state as a big south swell peaks later tonight. Yeah, and those wave heights expected to actually reach double overhead at some spots. We have weather team coverage tonight. Meteorologist Paul Drews was out in Waikiki observing surf along the south shore. But we want to start with meteorologist Pete Caggiano for a look at those current conditions and what we can expect for the rest of the week. Pete, how's it looking? Yes, a big surf and expected to, to peak later on tonight. So we're watching for our waves to continue to rise into the evening in some locations. Let's go ahead and take a look at the South Shore, and we are expecting those waves to peak potentially in some of those bigger spots, 10 to 12 feet. And we do want to remind everyone these waves come in sets, so that means that we have a long period sometimes between those sets. So you can have 20, maybe up to 40 minutes between these huge sets. So it gives you kind of a, a lull or a false sense of security. If you head out and you jump right in the water, we, we never advise that. We always tell you, watch those waves for at least a half hour from the shoreline if you are going out because you might get there in a lull and, and you can get out in the water and then here comes those huge waves. We'll also have some dangerous currents as well. That high surf advisory in effect for the entire state. South shores until 6 a.m on Thursday. Again, 8 to 12 feet possible in some locations. We will have very strong currents as well. And this swell, not only big tonight, but will last and will maintain well into our overnight tomorrow and then start to fade as we head into Thursday morning. Again, the surf advisory expiring at 6 a.m. Now, meteorologist Paul Drew spent the day in Waikiki, and he's here to tell us about the hazards from the this swell. Paul. Even though the surf was coming up today, it was still a typical day at the beach with thousands taking to the water in Waikiki to enjoy the ocean. But because of big swells on the horizon, lifeguards spent part of their day moving some beachgoers to safer spots so there wouldn't be so many afternoon rescues. 
Building surf off Waikiki meant bigger waves for Duke's Ocean Fest King of the Beach competition. Plenty of experienced watermen took advantage of the rising swell and showed no fear in the surf. And those guys are experienced surfers. These are guys that have been on the beach for a long time. And so I wouldn't want to, uh, I'll, I'll let them determine what, you know, what, what the conditions are like. While crowds on shore saw their moves on the waves from the water, others watched these surfers and the 2,000 other athletes competing in the nine-day Ocean Fest event. We have, you know, professional lifeguards uh, that, are, that are trained with their jet skis, you know, to monitor the safety conditions every day. Ocean safety lifeguards were also busy on jet skis in Waikiki, making seven rescues throughout the day. As you stay close to shore where you can touch, it's also better to go farther to the left of the side. Along with hundreds of preventative actions at Waikiki and Sandy Beach to keep beachgoers safe. When the surf rate's really big, um, we do a lot of PR. We talk to most people who are who, who uh, come to the beach. And then most visitors will ask to go down the coast to another beach. Bigger waves also bring some bodyboarders to the beach, wanting to get barreled in the pounding shore break. It does attract the local guys. So the locals that come here all the time who are seeking out big surf will come down to Sandy Beach and the South Shore on a big, on a big day. Lifeguards watch the waves get bigger throughout the day, but also worried about problem spots where no one is watching. So we do get a lot of calls outside of our guarded beach here at Sandy Beach when the surf gets really big. Places like Lanai Lookout or spitting caves along the Portlock Coast, where people don't even have to be in the water to get into trouble, as large waves crashing into cliffs above the ocean can sweep people into the water. But ocean safety personnel tell me no matter how big it gets, they're ready to go in if they need to make a rescue. We know the surf is getting big. We kind of, you know, psych ourselves up. We're going to have a, a busy day, and we look forward to doing what we do best. While lifeguards can help beachgoers in distress, they're not always there. And for those who are catching some of the swell early tomorrow morning, a reminder that lifeguards don't start their shift until 9 in the morning, and they're only on duty until 5.30 in the afternoon. Reporting live from the newsroom, Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News. Thanks, Paul. Kalani on LA Highway is back open in both directions tonight after a brush fire shut down part of it near Keala Ho Street. The Honolulu Fire Department says the brush fire is 100% contained after burning four acres. No injuries were reported and the fire is under investigation. A 62-year-old woman died after driving her car into the water in Hawaii Kai. The woman was traveling west in a black Mercedes on Opoi Street near Niumalu Loop. For some reason, she didn't stop and drove right into the lagoon there. This is a look at the scene. Witnesses jumped into the water and pulled the woman from the car. At this time, the investigation is ongoing. We're really not sure if it could be a medical condition or, you know, there are lots of variables. So. This is the 39th traffic death on Oahu this year. Well, a scary situation over on the Big Island. A woman recovering after being bitten by a shark this morning. Now, it all happened around 8 a.m. The 27-year-old was swimming at Keola Kekua Bay when she was bit in her lower back and her hip area. Now, she was taken to the hospital in Kona. She is expected to be okay. Now, crews aren't sure what kind of shark this was, but they say it was around six feet long. Now, there were some dolphins giving birth nearby, which may have caused more sharks to be in the area. But experts say the bigger issue here is that the water was murky at the time, and that can cause sharks who already can't see very well to confuse you with small prey. Well, the sharks, uh, they make mistakes. You know, they may be looking for small fish, and they, they see the flash of the white of the underside of your foot, and they think it's a fish, and they will go for it. Now, the Big Island Fire Department says tour operations in the area were halted because there were multiple sharks in the bay. Now, you see their personnel going in on jet skis to try and help those who are in the water get back to shore. Now, as a precaution, crews have posted warning signs until at least noon tomorrow, and they are asking swimmers there to avoid the area. Thanks, Tom. The 20-year-old man accused of killing his 54-year-old father in what and I over the weekend is charged with second-degree murder today. According to court documents, Chauncey Lopez stabbed his father, Sterling, in the back with a kitchen knife in the White and I home Sunday morning. Sterling was taken to a nearby hospital where he later died. Lopez is being held at a million dollars bail. A 35-year-old man on trial for killing another man outside a Waikiki bar last February 
will soon, loon his, will soon learn his fate. Cesarian Perez took the stand in his own defense today. Jurors watched as Perez stepped through surveillance video taken outside the Irish Rose Salon in Waikiki. In the video, you can see Perez punch Pilsung Kim. Perez left the scene but later returned when he learned Kim stayed down. You had seen Mr. Kim fall to the ground, correct? Correct. So why did it surprise you? Because I, I just felt like he'll get back off. Kim hit his head on the pavement and died from his injuries about a week later. Perez is being held on half a million dollars bail. The case is now in the hands of the jury. Well, the Kailua family escapes a burning house after it caught fire while they were sleeping. As KITV4's Mackenzie Stasco explains, those firefighters say the family was saved all thanks to a good Samaritan. A neighbor captured the fire on a cell phone. The flames seen here tearing through this two-story home on Kupau Street. The Honolulu Fire Department says it started just before 5 Tuesday morning while four people were sound asleep inside. They were alerted by a neighbor uh, pounding on the door letting them know that upstairs was on fire. The family ran out of the house and escaped unharmed. Lisa Vegas lives across the street. She was in bed when she heard a woman screaming outside. She was saying fire, fire. She was trying to get them up, so we ran out of the house. While waiting for firefighters to arrive, Vegas went with her first instinct and grabbed a garden hose. A couple of the other neighbors got water hose and we tried to shoot down the house wherever we could but my husband tried to get onto the roof but he couldn't um, there wasn't a way to get up there and then the fire just got so big. Firefighters arrived on scene minutes later. In all, 34 of them helped battle the blaze. It was so massive it took about an hour and a half to put it out. Second story is pretty gutted. Um, eventually when it thins out and you guys get up there you're going to see it. The upstairs is, is pretty significantly damaged. Sagarant says the home had smoke detectors, but isn't sure if they even work. This is the second fire in two days where that's happened. His reminder, put smoke detectors in your living room and bedrooms. Try and test them at least once a month. If it weren't for the Good Samaritan who pounded on the door of this home, Sagarant says this story could have ended differently. You don't know there's a fire. You're losing the opportunity to get out every second that it, it, it's growing. It's growing exponentially. Great that a neighbor, you know, notified them, knocked on the door or knocked on the wall, whatever was knocked on, but not everybody has neighbors at their home. In Kailua, Mackenzie Stasco, KITV4 Island News. Well, a graveyard isn't exactly a place you'd want to throw a party. Yeah, definitely not. Well, coming up KITV on KITV4 Island News, it might sound bizarre, but it's all to celebrate some of Hawaii's most notable residents, and you're invited. Plus, the state's new plan to preserve the state bird. Why the nene is causing problems near the Lihue Airport on Kauai. We'll be right back. It's going to be hard to calm down over this. Good morning, America. It's Taylor Swift, and I can't wait to perform in Central Park on August 22nd. Taylor Swift in the concert event of the summer. Thursday morning on Good Morning America. Presented by Capital One. When do my credit card points expire? How many miles do I have? When are the blackout dates again? Do we get 1% or 2% on groceries? Stop wondering. Get the new 2% unlimited cashback card. That's 2% on purchases everywhere, every time. From American Savings Bank. Real life, real answers. It's only a golden opportunity if you take it. Seize the Lexus you've always wanted. Now with our most advanced safety technology ever. Lease the first ever UX for $339 a month, or the RX Wailua edition for $459 a month, or purchase the UX or RX at just 1.9% APR. Visit servcolexus.com for exceptional offers on our full line of vehicles and grab it. The Golden Opportunity Sales Event, only at Servco Lexus.
Board of Water Supply, keeping Oahu refreshed for 90 years. Aloha, I am Jackie Hoover, born and raised on Hawaii Island. As a native Hawaiian, I believe in TMT because of the opportunity it provides for Hawaii Island. We need jobs, education, and options. That is what our island home needs. A future where our keiki need not leave to pursue their dreams. A future where our island's economy remains diversified. A future with TMT. You're watching KITV4 Island News. Welcome back. Well, new tonight, one of Oahu's oldest cemeteries is turning 175. So to commemorate the milestone, the historic Hawaii Foundation is honoring some of the most notable people who are buried there. KITV4's Moani Kaelin Obaro joins us live in studio. And Moani, organizers have some lively plans in store. They do, Mika Tom. When you think of an evening filled with hula and music, you probably don't think about enjoying all of that inside a graveyard, but officials at Oahu Cemetery are hoping people are intrigued. They're putting together walking tours highlighting some of Hawaii's most famous composers laid to rest on site. Oahu Cemetery's roots trace back to 1844. About 20,000 people are buried inside the Nu'uanu graveyard. Notable names can be seen scattered throughout the site. Historian Nanette Napoleon decided to honor some of Honolulu's most treasured musicians at rest here by organizing a musical tour for the cemetery's anniversary. By visiting their grave sites, that's a physical manifestation of those people. They're just not a picture or a, a, a album cover or something like that. Yeah, yeah. They're real people. People like Eleanor Prendergast, who wrote Hawaiian patriotic song Kaulana Napua in 1893. And Hapa Haole music great Johnny Noble, who composed My Little Grass Shack and melodic classic Hawaiian war chant. Street Band and Kumuhula Kaanohi Aipa are busy preparing for the anniversary celebration. They'll perform selections from each composer at their individual grave sites. One of the medleys they're rehearsing comes from songwriter R. Alex Anderson. The celebrated composer penned songs like Lovely Hula Hands, Mele Kalikimaka, and Soft Green Seas. It's almost like they're right here with us. Like they're sitting with us and going, I, my kai, or, oh, brother, could you just be a little slower on that part? You know, or something like that. Guests will also get to know musician Vina Mossman. The Kalihi native born in 1893 studied music under Queen Liliuo Kalani, weaving that knowledge into her composing style and even directing choirs. Mossman's grandson says nothing was ever short of perfection. That's the kind of lady she was. She wanted it perfect. Yeah, the, the pronunciation, the enunciation, the, the uh, singing, the tune, and all of that kind of stuff. An abundance of stories waiting to be told linger within these grounds. Stories that helped shape part of Hawaii's past will come to life once again. Musical tours are set for this Friday and Saturday from 5 to 8 p.m. We're told tickets are going fast but still available. Just head over to historichawaii.org for more information on that. And we should tell you the event will also feature classical opera in honor of a native Hawaiian opera singer who dazzled stages in Paris in the 1920s. And a pianist brought up on the Waialua sugar plantation that went on to become an internationally recognized musical protege. Reporting live from the studio, Moani K. Alanabaro, KITV4 Island News. The past coming to life, really cool. Thanks, mm. Moani. Well, biking around Honolulu just got cheaper for some Hawaii residents. Coming up on KITV4 Island News, who qualifies for a new Beaky bike rate? And record heat along with some big surf today. And more of both coming up tomorrow. Pete. Yeah, it looks like a repeat performance. We've got the big surf and we have temperatures near or above record. Certainly got warm today, 93 for Central Maui in Kahului and 91 here in town. Coming up, we'll track those temperatures. We'll track the big surf as well. We'll take you out to the windward side where we don't have a whole lot of surf, but we have a lot of blue sky. Beautiful evening there. This is our windward mall cam and a look from Kaneohe, your forecast after the break.
It's only a golden opportunity if you take it. Seize the Lexus you've always wanted. Now with our most advanced safety technology ever. Lease the first ever UX for $339 a month or the RX Wailua edition for $459 a month. Or purchase the UX or RX at just 1.9% APR. Visit servcolexus.com for exceptional offers on our full line of vehicles. And grab it. The Golden Opportunity Sales Event, only at Servco Lexus. 5914 Good luck! We go play See the phenomenal new production of the world's greatest love story, The Phantom of the Opera. Premiering at the Blaisdell Center August 7th through September 1st. Visit broadwayinhawaii.com for tickets now. The right care for the right person at the right time. That is absolutely what Kina Oli Estate is. My husband and I, we just have a peace of mind uh, knowing that grandma is being taken care of. It just brings peace to the family because they're cared for so beautifully. Her room is bright, cheerful, airy. We don't have to call. We can just come in and they're always welcome us. It's like being at home. This is an ohana, a family style living. Call or visit us online. Kina Ole Estate on the windward side of Oahu. It's the meteor shower of the decade, but you're too busy gazing at double the beef and double the layers you love. Maybe next decade. The Triple Double Crunch Wrap Box, only at Taco Bell. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event. That means more euphoric feelings that come from getting a great deal on a Honda CRV or HRV. Or from getting a pilot or passport. All part of 2019's best SUV brand. Hurry in today and experience the joy for yourself. Get a great deal on the Honda HRV, part of 2019's best SUV brand, at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. And big waves today and warm weather. We have more coming for tomorrow. We'll take you out to the South Shore, and we've been watching uh, kind of a lull in between the sets. We'll take you out right now. This is just off of Kiwalos. You can see the surfers waiting for that next set, and sometimes it can take about 20 to 40 minutes for those sets to roll on in. So got a little bit of a lull right now, but some big waves still on the way, expected to peak that swell later on tonight. 86 degrees current temperature, northeast winds at 16, so warm weather, a great day to get in that water. And in fact, as we head through tonight, expecting the swell to peak at about 10 to 12 in some of the bigger spots. So not everyone will see waves this big, but the, the normally bigger uh, spots getting uh, well, getting close to 10 to 12. So we'll be watching for that on South Shores, West Shores, 6 to 9. If you can't get out there tonight, tomorrow morning, probably your best bet right around sunrise. That's when we'll have waves 8 to 10, maybe still some 12 footers, but probably 8 to 10 there on the bigger spots, 6 to 9 for West. And do want to remember that there's about 20, sometimes up to 40 minutes in between the sets. So it kind of gives you a false sense of security. If you, you head out and you see the lull, you might think, hey, it's not much waves out there it's safe and those bigger sets kind of roll through so just kind of a heads up we will have that high surf advisory in effect at least until 6 a.m on thursday so a long lasting swell we also have a little bit of a small west swell combining with the south swell so west shore is up as well six to nine there three to five for east and one to three on north shore so far not much rain so we take a look at the radar, a couple of Malka showers here on Oahu, and we'll expand on out. And uh, don't have a whole lot to talk about rain-wise. Heading into tonight, especially past 10, 11 o'clock, we'll start to see a few trade wind showers developing, but not a huge amount of, of rain anticipated. Take you back out in the uh, eastern Pacific. We told you about both of these spots yesterday. This one right here was the one we were more concerned about. Chance of development has come down quite a bit, so we were expecting this to organize, but it doesn't look as impressive today. We're giving it about a 40% chance it'll develop in a depression or storm over the next five days. And we have this guy right here off of Mexico. Likely will be our next depression or storm, but it should stay just off the coast of Mexico. Here's the computer models. You can see it staying just off the coast of Mexico there. The other wave, a little less sure of. We're expecting it to drift off to the west. Some of the models do 
exuberant closer to the islands next week. It's something that we'll keep an eye on. Also keep an eye on the, the temperatures, and they were warm today, and they'll be warm again for tomorrow. So trade winds are with us. We'll see partly cloudy skies, 86 in Hilo, Kona at 88. We'll head up towards Maui County and Central Maui in the lower 90s once again. West Maui, upper 80s. Windward Maui into the middle 80s. Olehua coming at 90 in Molokai as we head down towards Oahu, 92 in Kapolei. 87 into Waimanalo. Kaneohe, 86. And Lihue rounding out at 88 degrees. Slight chance of a few light showers in the morning, but uh, not a whole lot anticipated. Tonight, most of the evening, 8, 9 o'clock, not much rain. Heading past 10, 11 o'clock, we'll start to see uh, a few windward and uh, Malka showers, maybe a light shower here in town as well. Still warm overnight. We'll get up to 91 for tomorrow. Trades are with us at 10 to 15. Those trades become a little bit lighter on Thursday as a weak front passes north of the islands. That'll make it feel even hotter, if you can imagine that. But into the weekend, we do have some good news. We'll have a stronger trade. So we'll have a little bit more of, a, of nature's air conditioner coming up on yeah. the weekend. Well, speaking of waves, the wave rolling into Pennsylvania right now. Sports time in Maui continuing their big march. After the break, we'll check in with KITV4 Island Sports Director Brandi Higa on the road ahead of Hawaii's next game in this year's Little League World Series in Williamsport. Stay with us. We'll be right back. A plane crashed on the beach. No survivors. She doesn't have a scratch on her. Do you think I crashed that plane? Emergence premieres September 24th on ABC. We know it takes money to go to college. Most people think a huge amount of money. But it can cost a lot less than you think. Did you know tuition at a four-year UH campus can start at under $8,000 a year? And tuition for a community college is only about $3,500 a year. Plus in Hawaii, over $70 million in scholarships and grants are awarded to help students go to college. So maybe you should invest in yourself. Go to college is within reach, Hawaii.com. Lease a brand new Acura TLX for only $2.99 a month or a new MDX for only $3.99 a month from Acura of Honolulu. This is a legal alert. A popular weed killer has been designated as a probable human carcinogen by the World Health Organization. Landscapers, those who work in the landscaping industry, farmers, and heavy exposure residential users where this popular weed killer is used are at risk for developing non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. If you or someone you love has been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and has been exposed to a popular weed killer called Gallagher de Robertus and Waxman here in Honolulu today. KITV.com News sponsored by Homeworld. It's the Miller Lite Tastes All Right Pauhana Series. Heat up your next Pauhana with Foodland. Nothing makes Pauhana at home better than Ono Food and Ohana. And Foodland has everything you'll need. Fresh poke, fried chicken, premium choice meats, and so much more. Stop by any one of their 33 locations statewide. And don't forget the Miller Lite Pauhana. Taken to a whole new level with Foodland. Check it out on KITV.com slash Pauhana. How sweet does this sound? Back-to-back -back Little League World Series champs from Hawaii. Good evening, I'm Brandi Higa. We're here at the airport on our way to Williamsport where this year Wailuku is trying to win the world title. Remember, Honolulu Little League won it all last year. The boys from Wailuku, the West Region representative this year, are getting ready to take on Virginia tomorrow. A win would propel them straight to the U.S. Championship game on Saturday. But this Virginia team has not allowed a single hit so far this World Series. Business as usual, you know, we're just going to tell them go up there, mental focus, their mental approach at the plate, you know, what are you looking for, and just make contact, solid contact. That's all we tell them every time. Hey, but the day features so much more than that. They call it makana. It's a gift, um, a lei. Uh, it's made of kukui nuts, um, and if you're in Hawaii, that's pretty much a, it's a very, 
It's a, it's like a gift basically, and it's one of the leagues. So we try to give all the teams a gift before we play, just as a sportsmanship. That's right, Aloha Spirit running strong again this year in Williamsport. Central East Maui's next game against Virginia set for 1.30 tomorrow afternoon Hawaii time. That game will be broadcast on ESPN. And tune into KITV for Island News for a reaction from the team and the sights and sounds from Laverty Stadium. I'm, I'm pumped, you know, being there last week uh, for the Rams-Cowboys game, it was, uh, it, was, it was cool being in a different perspective on the fan side and uh, just realizing next week that's going to be us on that field and, you know, throwing the ball uh, and having fun. So, I mean, I'm, I'm pumped. This is what we work for all summer, all fall, and uh, we're going to go handle business. Just four days to the UH football season opener. They host Arizona at Aloha Stadium this Saturday at 4.30. But before that, the Rainbow Wahine soccer team opens the 2019-2020 athletic calendar on campus. Ladies off their appearance in the Big West Conference Tournament last year open against fifth-ranked USC this Thursday on UH's grass practice field. Oh, we're we're really really excited we can't wait um, you know USC is a storied program former national champion and I think uh, it gives us a chance to really see straight out the out of the box where where we're at and what we need to be working on Wow, I'm so excited to get you know my senior year rolling I think we're all excited like camps over and it's time to get going uh, with USC coming we're all very excited and you know the only opinion that it matters really is our own and we're going in with that we're gonna win mindset so I'm super stoked Kickoff in Manoa this Thursday versus the Trojans is set for 3.30 in the afternoon. And back out here at Daniel K. Inouye International Airport. Remember, KITV is your home for this year's Little League World Series. Photographer Hans Cole and I are getting ready for our long day of travel to Williamsport. We'll hope you stick with us as we follow the Central East Maui Little League in their journey to the 2019 world title. Reporting from the airport, I'm Brandy Higa, KITV for Island News. Now, from Honolulu, for all of Hawaii, this is KITV4 Island News. A police officer on Maui is accused of misconduct. And if you're just joining us, here's our top four stories on KITV4 Island News at 6 tonight. Now, according to police, text messages and voice recordings support allegations against an officer with four years of service. Now, no names or any details have been released, but that officer is also being investigated for attempted perjury, hindering prosecution, and witness tampering. A 62-year-old woman died today after driving her car into a lagoon in Hawaii Kai. Police believe she may have had a medical condition. Witnesses report she ran past a stop sign and straight into the water. A 27-year-old woman was bitten by a shark in waters off the Big Island this morning near Keala Kekua Bay. Multiple sharks were sighted in the area. The woman was bitten on her back. She is expected to make a full recovery. Wave heights are expected to reach double overhead at some spots. High surf peaks tonight and will continue into tomorrow before fading on Thursday. Well, new tonight, the Department of Land and Natural Resources is launching a one-year pilot project with the goal of keeping Nene from nest near the Lihue Airport. Nene are endangered geese, but since 2016, more and more of them have started making an area near Lihue Airport home. Officials fear that could increase the chances of an airplane hitting them. So to discourage them from nesting near the airport, wildlife officials will use trained border collies to run them off. They'll also use golf carts or flags to approach the Nene and see scare them off. The project has started during breeding season with the hope that they will nest elsewhere. If officials come across an active nest, they're not going to go within 100 feet of it. And also new tonight, more visitors stayed in Hawaii hotels in July compared to the same time last year. As according to the Hawaii Tourism Authority, there was a one percentage point increase. Now, the average daily room rate also went up from $260 a night in July of 2018 to $305 last month. The city is officially cracking down on short-term rentals after those controversial new restrictions were put in place on Oahu. You might remember the city sent out letters to thousands of potential violators who posted listings on sites like Airbnb. Now the city says they've actually issued the first violations. Five citations were issued and two to homes in Kailua and three to a high-rise in Waikiki that's outside the designated resort area. The citations required the owners to take down their listings within a week 
or face a $1,000 fine that could grow to an additional $10,000 per day if it's not removed. The city says they're continuing to check for illegal listings and more of these citations are coming soon. Well, some residents over on the Big Island no longer have to pay back FEMA disaster assistance that they received following the 2018 Kilauea eruption. In June, 69 people were sent letters informing them that they were not eligible for disaster relief and that they had to pay back any federal relief money that they received. Well, the federal, state, and emergency management agencies set speciali sent specialists to help with those appeals process earlier this month. Now, in total, 35 people were cleared of having to pay back a total of about $170,000. Now, three other applicants had their debt reduced by thousands of dollars. Dozens of Nanakuli residents are expected to protest tonight in opposition of expanding the PVT landfill near, near Lualua Lake. This is at tonight's board meeting to strike down on a planned vote that could move forward the project. Community members say the expansion could become a health hazard to those who live nearby. And new tonight, Honolulu Bike Share Company Biki is now offering lower rental rates for Hawaii residents who receive financial assistance from the government. That includes programs like SNAP and child care subsidies. They could rent bikes for $10 a month instead of $15. It'll also use a new cash payment system for those without debit or credit cards. All right, well, this one's getting a lot of attention. Some new air conditioning tips from the federal government are becoming a hot topic on the Internet right now. Now, Energy Star recommends keeping your thermostat at 78 degrees in the summer, and the energy saving program also says you should crank it up to 85 when you're not home and 82 when you're asleep. A lot of people weighing in, I personally think that that's crazy. I don't know how you're not sweating it out. Others seem to think that that's perfectly comfortable. Energy Star recommending using a programmable thermostat uh, to implement the settings that they say are best. Me, though, I'm going to keep mine as low as possible. <laughs> Seems a little bit high. Yeah. A new study shows vaping can change the blood flow in your body after just one use. Researchers showed MRI scans to measure the blood vessel function in people who use non-nicotine e-cigarettes for the first time. It showed changes quickly but went back to normal after a few minutes. There's no word on what caused the response. Scientists still believe vaping is not as dangerous as smoking. Well, the BRCA gene can raise a person's risk for several types of cancers. Now, the most common, of course, is breast cancer. CNN's Mandy Gaither has more on some changes in today's Health Minute. The U.S. Preventative Services Task Force has just come out with updated recommendations for BRCA screenings. According to a report published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, more women need to be assessed for the potentially deadly mutation of these genes, including women who are considered cancer-free following a previous battle with one of the cancers associated with the BRCA gene, breast, ovarian, tubal, or peritoneal. A previous report from 2013 only recommended women with a family history of these cancers to be screened for BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutations. The BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes are important in the fight against cancer. When working normally, they can suppress tumors, but if there's a mutation in those genes, it can actually raise a person's risk for breast, ovarian, and other cancers. The CDC says breast cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed. In 2016, approximately Approximately 245,000 new cases were diagnosed, along with about 20,000 cases of ovarian cancer. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about 5 to 10 percent of breast cancer and 10 to 15 percent of ovarian cancer are hereditary. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. We've all heard solar panels can help your home save energy, but the price tag can be hefty. Yeah, well, coming up on KITV4 Island News, the new way you can actually rent them instead and just how much that'll cost you. We'll be right back. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event, which means more of this. The kind of elation you can only experience after getting a great deal on a Honda Civic or Civic Hatchback. Or an Accord. All come standard with the Honda Sensing suite of safety and driver assistive features. And as you can see, all will provide you with plenty of joy. Come be a part of it today. Get a great deal on the Honda Civic and find your happy place at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. Why do I love being a doctor at Kaiser Permanente? I get to practice in the place I grew up. 
Because doctors are empowered to do what's right for you, not when an insurance plan approves. When we pull up your records, we see your entire history from every Kaiser Permanent Day facility so we can give you the best possible care. Your primary care doctor, your specialists, it's great. We all work together as one team. I don't just work here, I am a patient too. I wouldn't trust my family's health care to anyone else. What a move, man. That was crazy, bro. Here's your chili tickets, Uncle. Oh, sweet. Thank you. I have your autograph. <laughs> I'll put it in the bank for you. What? No. It is Marcus Mariota's autograph. We'll deposit it this way. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Come on. OK. <laughs> First Hawaiian Bank. It all starts with yes. From Hawaii's beaches to its back roads, there's a Chevy to fit any lifestyle you choose. At Surfco Chevrolet in Waipahu, competitive pricing, our friendly staff, and a beautiful facility make buying a Chevy easy. And you'll never pay a penny over MSRP. Save up to $9,600 off MSRP on a 2019 Silverado or up to $4,700 on a Colorado. Drive a little, save a lot. Stop in and see Scotty and Charlie at Surfco Chevrolet in Waipahu. See the phenomenal new production of the world's greatest love story, The Phantom of the Opera. Premiering at the Blaisdell Center August 7th through September 1st. Visit broadwayinhawaii.com for tickets now. Pack your bags and be ready to go to Las Vegas instantly with Vacations Hawaii and KITV4 Island News. Enter at KITV.com and watch Good Morning Hawaii to see if you're the winner. Then be ready to go to Vegas with Vacations Hawaii that week. Pack your bags. We go Vegas. Watching KITV4 Island News. Welcome back. The Trump administration continues to tout the strength of the United States economy. But as CNN's Camila Bernal reports, talk of tax cuts could signal anxiety over a possible recession. Will we fall into a recession for two months, okay? The fact is, somebody had to take China on. My life would be a lot easier if I didn't take China on. President Donald Trump talking tough on trade tensions with China, which many economics experts warn if they continue could spark a short-term recession in America. The president says he's not concerned. And we're right now the number one country anywhere in the world by far as an economy. Whether it's good or bad, short term is irrelevant. We have to solve the problem with China. Financial giant J.P. Morgan Chase estimates that if a new round of tariffs on China go into effect in December, it could cost every American household $1,000 a year. Now the Trump administration is looking at ways to prevent a potential recession, including a possible payroll tax cut. Payroll tax is something that we think about, and a lot of people would like to see that, and that very much affects the, working, the workers of, of our country. And Democrats have shown little support for more tax cuts and say the president's trade war is destabilizing the global economy. We have to be working with our allies in ensuring the United States is competing as successfully in the global economy. In Washington, I'm Camila Bernal reporting. For the first time, a majority of Democrats in the House of Representatives publicly back an impeachment inquiry into President Trump, except for Hawaii lawmakers. Congressman Ed Case told us he does not support impeaching the president right now. According to National Public Radio, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard also does not support impeachment efforts. Right now, 125 members of the House back impeachment, while 98 do not and 13 haven't had their position clear. Former President Joe Biden is dominating the 2020 presidential race by double digits again. Yeah, that's according to a new poll that was done by CNN. Most voters say that he has the best chance of beating President Donald Trump next year. The Democratic frontrunner is using that as his message on the campaign trail. Trailing behind him but tying for the number two spot, Senators Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Democrats running for president are spending millions to get their message online. But no one has spent more money on digital ads than billionaire Tom Steyer. He shelled out nearly $5 million to advertise on Facebook and Google. And he just announced he was running last month. 
And of course, another way to get your name out there, the debates. Julian Castro just became the 10th Democrat to qualify for the next primary debate. Castro has enough support in the polls and individual donors. He'll be joining Vice President Joe Biden, Senators Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Bernie Sanders, Cory Booker, and Amy Klobuchar. Also on the list are Mayor Pete Buttigieg, former Representative Beto O'Rourke, and businessman Andrew Yang. But so far, Hawaii representative and presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard hasn't qualified. Let's head to our Washington correspondent, Matt Knadler, with a look at what she needs to do to make it to the stage. This is new tonight. Well, thanks. It's good to be with you again here on KITV. As you take a look behind us, Capitol Hill pretty quiet right now. The tourists are here. The lawmakers are not. And what else is heating up? Well, the campaign trail, of course, with the 2020 presidential race. We're following Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard as well and her efforts to get into that third Democratic debate next month. Still on the outside looking in. So let's break it down for you. What does she have to do to make it into the race? Well, well the Democratic National Committee sort of upping the ante a little bit, requiring candidates to have at least 2% in four national polls. Also, to have 130,000 unique donors. Now, Gabbard has the donations uh, sort of on lock, but she also needs to get up in the polls a little bit more. Right now, 10 candidates in the race. As we said, this is something that she's going to have to continue to chip away at over the next week or so before that deadline. A lot of the candidates uh, are on the fringe right now. She's one of those top three that are kind of on their way uh, on the outside looking in. Uh, that includes billionaire Tom Steyer, who would likely be the 11th candidate to make it into that debate. So, again, as the campaign trail heats up, we're looking at about a one week away from that deadline to see who's in and who's out of that third debate. And we'll keep you posted here on KITV. Back to you. All right, thanks, Matt. Well, where do you go when you're in need of some pupcakes? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> on our local Yelp report this week, it's everything dog, from nail trims and oil shampoo treatments to photo shoots and bakeries. We've got all those details coming up on KITV 4 Island News at 6. At Infinity, we make luxury SUVs, four of them, in fact. But we also make not SUVs. Presenting the 400 horsepower 2019 Infiniti Q50 Red Sport 400. Lease the Infiniti Q50 for $299 a month. Plus, get a special summer bonus at your local Infiniti retailer. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me in my classes when I must give attention to detail to the task at hand. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting nationalguard.com. Sports Den, Hawaii's best baseball and softball store. Whoa, look at these bats. Whoa, look at all these gloves. Helmets too, orange too. Thank you, Sports Den. Sports Den, it's not just sporting goods, it's a way of life. Style, where we are honored to tell your story every Saturday at 6.30 p.m. right here on KI TV. And we are honored to partner with Ward Village and all the locally owned businesses that make Ward Village their home for live, work, and play. That's every Saturday at 6.30 p.m. right here on KI TV. I don't know if I should just take myself out of this. New tonight. We want you to be happy. We want you to find love. Will a stranger in paradise Surprise. destroy a favored couple? It crushes me to think about hurting someone. New Bachelor in Paradise, ABC Tonight. How did you ever survive your childhood? What are you weirdos mixed with? What's mixed? You don't have to worry about what those other kids think. They're idiots. I want to be an idiot so bad. Mixed Dish premieres September 24th on ABC. Hey Yelpers, 
it's Emmy Hart with your local Yelp on KITV4 Island News. Wolf, that's dog for I love you, let's eat, let's go take a walk, and National Dog Day is on August 26. Here's a list of spots that your pup will love, and they'll go woof. At Lokahi Dog Grooming in Mo'ili Ili, Yelper Selena Q gets her pooch pampered with a quick nail trim and essential oil shampoo with blow dry and styling. They're super affordable and pricing is upfront. At Three Dogs and a Girl in Manoa, Yelper Rachel M gets her pup groomed. Her favorite part is their custom photo shoot and she loves the pictures which are sent to her at the end of the day. It's the cutest thing ever and they go above and beyond. At the Doggy Box in Kaka'ako, Yelper Renee M is always so happy when she picks up her little guy because he looks fresh, clean and oh so cute. Each dog gets a bandana and she enjoys the little photo shoot picture sent to her after his grooming. At the public pet in Kaimuki, Yelper Kirsten R shares this is her absolute favorite place to go and shop for her pup. She's able to get food, treats, and extra special gifts. You'll love the focus on local vendors and it's definitely the place to go to spoil your furry ones. At Hawaii Doggy Bakery and Gift Shop, Yelper Brittany G raves, if you love your dog, you must celebrate with their pet-friendly treats. They bake all of the biscuits and pup cakes in-house. Her dog gobbles up his custom-made sweet potato pup cake. For more ways to find your dog happy, check out the Yelp mobile app and write reviews and post photos of your favorite local businesses. Watch my local Yelp email tomorrow and catch Yelp every Tuesday and Sunday on KITV4 Island News. See you on Yelp. I can't with all those adorable dogs. I know, photos. it's so cute. And my question is, so if my cat acts like a dog, I wonder if I can take him to any of those places. I think, I think the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching that makes me want to get a dog. <laughs> I know, me too. Well, if you don't want to spend the money on buying solar panels, you can now rent them if you live in certain states. Yeah, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said people in California, Arizona, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and New Mexico can rent the panels for just about $50 a month. Now, you can apparently cancel it at any time, but Tesla's website says there's a $1,500 charge to remove those panels and restore your roof to its previous condition. The next time you're in the airport in San Francisco, you won't be able to buy water in a plastic bottle. The plastic ban is now in effect for convenience shops, restaurants, and vending machines. The city sees eliminating plastic as a way to reduce what goes into the rubbish heap. Airport officials are pushing reusable containers and filling up at the water fountain or hydration stations. Well, I like it. I always carry my plastic water bottle, <laughs> refill it, and wash it every few days. It works out fine. You can still buy bottled water at the airport, but it will be in a glass or aluminum container. In 2014, San, Fr San Francisco banned the sale of plastic water bottles on city-owned property. Well, NASA scientists are crisscrossing Greenland on a mission to track melting ice. Global warming is the chief culprit, of course, but scientists want to know just how this is happening. Both warmer air and warmer water are eating away at Greenland, causing it to lose billions of tons of ice daily in the summer. A team of scientists and engineers aboard a research plane this week are dropping probes into the ice to help figure out which is the bigger cause. We're literally watching the Greenland ice sheet disappear right before our very eyes. And this is having an impact all around the planet. We all share one ocean, so a billion tons of ice lost here raises sea levels all across the world by a measured amount. This is happening today, and the question is, how fast is it going to happen in the future? And Greenland has been melting faster in the last decade, and this summer it's seen two of the biggest melts on record since 2012. We're learning more tonight about the solar system. A newly released study found supernova dust in snow that could date back as much as 12, 20 million years. A supernova develops when a star explodes and produces gas and dust enriched with radioisotopes. The snow sample came from Antarctica. Researchers say tests indicate it had a high amount of iron isotope that likely came from stardust. That's pretty beautiful. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, well, we come back, a last check at your weather. You're watching KITV4 Island News. We'll be right back.
Hey, wake up with Good Morning Hawaii tomorrow at 4.30. Local photographer Kim Taylor Reese is on a mission to save the arts at Mark's Garage. Plus, more surf and trade winds on the way for your Wednesday. We'll have weather and traffic right here tomorrow on Good Morning Hawaii. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Fujitsu. I love my city too. Well, my little Fujitsu girl is all grown up and off to college. Yeah, but I still love you, Dad. And I love my Fujitsu. See the phenomenal new production of the world's greatest love story, The Phantom of the Opera. Premiering at the Blaisdell Center August 7th through September 1st. Visit broadwayinhawaii.com for tickets now. Hi, I'm Jerry Griffin, the owner of Discount Windows and Doors. Welcome to our showroom. Come in for this month's special. Save 40% on Makai Windows and Doors. This month only and only from Discount Windows and Doors. You've heard about our self-cleaning windows, especially designed for Hawaii. All of our quality products are offered at the very best prices. We even offer a price match guarantee. Discount Windows and Doors has been in business for more than 10 years with thousands of satisfied customers. Come and visit our Kaneohe showroom today. Hello, I'm Klepa by Bayan, an active participant in a Voyaging Revival. And for the past 44 years, I've been a crew member, a captain, a navigator on board Hawaii's iconic Voyaging Canoes. As a native Hawaiian, I believe Manaki is a deeply spiritual place. There is more than enough room for people to have their own practice, cultural practice, scientific research. We just need to have the collective will to share the Mauna. Really? Hi, guys. We like the gray. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Road and Altima. Hurry in for Model Year End savings on our full line. Now, get 0.9% financing for 60 months on the 2019 Nissan Road. Sponsored by Slumber World. Hi, Surf Advisory is still in effect and will be in effect until Thursday morning at 6 a.m. So this swell is going to last quite a while and we are looking at dangerous currents so just kind of a heads up we'll see large waves potentially some spots 10 maybe up to 12 feet not all spots but some locations this was diamond head this morning not nearly uh, double overhead but maybe overhead there some larger waves this morning certainly building as we head into the evening hours and that high surf advisor again in effect until Thursday morning not much rain out there to speak of so if you have plans you're heading out for me walking the dog this evening not much rain out there. I think up until about 10, 11 o'clock tonight, then we'll start to see our, our trade wind showers begin to get going. But uh, you know what? Not much out there. So we're, we're looking pretty good for your evening plans. For tomorrow, getting up to around 91 degrees. A couple of light showers in the morning, afternoon. Hot weather, northeast winds at 10 to 15. Not a bad day to get in the water. But again, we do have some very large waves. So if you're inexperienced, you might want to sit it out. Head to the North Shore. Maybe we'll have smaller waves on the North Shore. Heading into Thursday, we have a weak front that's going to block our trade winds. That means lighter winds. It'll feel warmer on Thursday and Friday, though, and the weekend. Those winds pick back up, so looking good if you're heading out to the game on Saturday. UH, hot weather, but we'll have those trades, so we'll looking get a little good. something. Yeah. Nice little relief. It's been hot. Yeah. It has been. All right. Thank you, Pete. Problem. And speaking of the surf, it was a good day for the fifth annual Duke's Ocean Fest out in Waikiki. Check it out, both humans and pups of all sizes hit the waves today. Dozens of dogs joined in on the event, with some even teaming up on the same board for tandem rides. 
not only were we going to the dogs, but they had waves today. And uh, it is just amazing to me the kind of interest that, that, that comes about where these people bring their dogs, and this is this is not just this is not just a novelty. These are people that take their dogs surfing with them on a regular basis, and this is just a chance to showcase that. So cute. While the canine competition is always a crowd favorite, tomorrow humans will get their turn to wow the crowd with tandem surf events. And knowing that the South Swell was up, that's yeah. very impressive. Yeah, impressive. They're surfing, surfing <laughs> advisory level surf there. Wow. It was wow. pretty Way rough waters, as you could say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, need a boost in your dating life? Might want to use some emojis. A new study in the journal Plus One found people who use emojis while flirting actually get more dates. Now, researchers surveyed 5,300 single Americans and found the 28% who claim they use emojis regularly went on more dates over the past year compared to those who say they don't use emojis at all. Who knew it was that simple? I guess that's go. the age of the millennials. Yeah, right? <laughs> Thanks so much for being a part of Hawaii's only hour-long 6 p.m. newscast. You can stay connected by liking us on Facebook and by following us on Twitter. And you can also find us on Roku or download our app. We'll see you tonight at 10. Aloha. Okay. Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. Award-winning actress and singer Queen Latifah opening up about stress and anxiety in her personal and professional life and revealing her latest mission, combating the stigma of mental health. Plus, it's The Dish on Oz. This week... We're serving up healthy, boozy recipes. You marinate them for about the time it'll take you to finish your first drink. <laughs> Next Oz. Dr. Oz, tomorrow at 3 on KITV. Even more at a first, and look at Williamsport. The Hawaiians are coming back to Pittsburgh. Congratulations, Central East Maui from Wailuku for making it to the Little League World Series. You've made Hawaii proud. Good luck as you get ready to run this tournament in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Then tune in to KITV starting on August 17th to watch the Little League World Series and cheer on Hawaii as they make their way to the big game. The Little League World Series on KITV4 is brought to you by these sponsors. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event at Pacific Honda. Choose from thousands of 2019 Hondas at clearance prices. Find the best deal on a 2019 Honda Accord Sedan LX Auto for $249 a month or a 2019 Honda HRV two-wheel drive LX for $199 a month with a low 1.9% APR. Take advantage of our low leasing and financing deals. Plus, come down for a test drive and a chance to win a trip for two to Las Vegas courtesy of Vacations Hawaii. Pacific Honda, home of the happy Honda lovers. Island Style, where we are honored to tell your story every Saturday at 6.30 p.m. right here on KI TV. And we are honored to partner with Ward Village and all the locally owned businesses that make Ward Village their home for live, work, and play. That's every Saturday at 6.30 p.m. right here on KI TV.